So this may come as a surprise to most of you to learn this, but I actually really do love Counter-Strike. It's one of my favorite things of all time, it's in my top 5 games I've ever played, and by far the best part about Counter-Strike as a product is that not only is it one of the best games to play just casually as a normal person, it's also by far, without a shadow of a doubt, the greatest esport that we have walking the planet, period. But despite its unparalleled greatness, Counter-Strike was indeed hiding a dark secret, a flaw that was there for everybody to see, but nobody was brave enough to take the next step and finally remove it and make the esports side of Counter-Strike the best version it can be. Which is why I could not be more happier to open up Twitter two days ago and see the announcement on my timeline that ESO won at Cologne, one of the biggest tournaments in the history of Counter-Strike, was going to be taking the bold step forward and remove all best of one play from their tournaments. Every best of one series that would have been in this tournament is being reformatted into best of three at minimum with a best of five grand final, making Cologne one of the best formatted tournaments on the calendar and is hopefully finally the step forward we need to eliminate best of one from every major LAN event going forward in Counter-Strike. So today, we are going to talk about why best of one is terrible and you should hate it with every fiber of your being and why moving to best of threes will make Counter-Strike even better than it already is as an esports product. But before we do, make sure you guys take a second, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps out immensely in the YouTube algorithms, so make sure you do it. While you're down there, consider becoming a channel member for 5 bucks a month. You can support me directly, get access to videos like this the night before anyone else, and a shout out at the end of every video. And lastly, follow me on my Twitch channel, link down below. I stream Sunday through Friday at 8.30pm Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for your continued support as always, and with that, let's get started with the video. Alright, so if you're new to Counter-Strike, or maybe you haven't watched much of the esports before, why is Best of One so terrible as a format? In a word, it all comes down to variance. In any sport, competition, or video game, the less games that you play, the more likely that you're opening yourself up to outlier results. And when you're trying to figure out who the best team in a game is, or you're playing for a lot of prize money, the last thing you want to have happen is for variance to skew the results or hinder the ability to figure out who truly is the best on any given day. So the more games you play, the less likely that you're going to be susceptible to that variance. Pretty straightforward concept, right? Like, for a real world example, if we took the NBA Finals, if the NBA Finals were one game instead of a best of seven series, then every Finals in every year would be a lot more random and harder to predict, and as a byproduct, easier to criticize. If a team gets an upset over a big series, that's much more legit than beating a better team one time. The same thing applies to Counter-Strike. If we have a team like Heroic, who's kind of on the outside looking in of the top 10, go into a big tournament and beat Spirit in a best of one, that result is still good, but it's a lot easier to poke holes at it than if Heroic were to rock up to a best of three and beat Team Spirit. Suddenly, that upset is much more legit. So when possible, we should be avoiding best of ones in Counter-Strike, so that way when we play these big tournaments, we get the best possible outcome, we get more Counter-Strike to watch as a viewer and fan, and in the aftermath, we don't have to speculate whether a team would have gone as deep if they had to go through best of three series instead of best of ones. Now, this is not a new issue. We've been wanting to get rid of best of ones in pro Counter-Strike pretty much since the dawn of time. The reality is, though, it's not always possible to get rid of best of ones due to external factors. Obviously, running a big LAN tournament is expensive and time-consuming, and booking out these stadiums months, sometimes years in advance, means you have to have your time slot filled out and ready to go ahead of time. So you can't just suddenly change your format on a whim, you need to lock these things in ahead. Plus, switching from a format where there's best of ones into best of threes into all best of threes means that tournaments need to run longer on average because you can't cram as many full series into a day as you could with a bunch of best of ones. Players are only going to be able to play one, maybe two best of three sets in a day before they need to rest. And that's on top of tournament organizers also having to pay staff, casters, analysts, etc. the money for those extra days the tournament would have to run. So for a lot of years, it definitely wasn't practical for a lot of tournaments to get rid of and phase out best of ones. Lucky for us, the biggest tournament organizer in the space in Counter-Strike is ESL, and ESL has all of that sweet, sweet Saudi oil money now, so they for damn sure have enough money to be able to make this kind of change. And since ESL run most of the big events on the calendar, hopefully we will see the spread from Cologne to other major tournaments on the ESL circuit, and maybe, just maybe, this could finally be the step we need to convince Valve to make the majors best of threes, at least at the final stages, 
like please valve this is a side note if you're watching hi mr valve good to see you once we get to the main event of the major the challenger stage legend stage all that stuff can we just get rid of the best of ones please your valve we all know you have exactly 100 gorillion dollars just make it happen please thank you valve so why is this happening now? It's not exactly been a secret that pros don't like best of ones, analysts don't like best of ones, nobody really likes them, but why are we able to make this change happen in the current state of Counter-Strike? Well, it has a lot to do with the fact that CS2 is so different from CSGO. Best of ones were an issue back then, but they're made even worse with how we play CS2 right now. The switch to MR12 pretty much exposed right away that best of ones were never going to work in CS2, which has pretty much been the only drawback of the switch to MR12 because in every other respect, except for how awful CT economy is, Valve, please fix, it's been a universally great change to the game. Taking the average length of a Counter-Strike match down from an hour to about 45 minutes may not feel like a lot, but it makes the casual experience better and has made the esports experience better. However, with less rooms to work with, there is now more variance game to game in CS2. Which is something I think everyone can relate to. It's so much harder if you fall behind early to mount a comeback because the games are just over faster. So when we had the Major back a few months ago, and we had all of those best of ones in the first stages of the Major, we saw really quick that this needs to stop at tournaments if we want to have the best possible results, because there's just not enough time to recover if you fall behind early. And back during the Major Cycle, that was certainly a big talking point, but not much came out of it. Some tournaments have beat up the format since then, but we haven't seen such a big change as this. And because it's Cologne, which is arguably a major level tournament every single year, it's one of the most storied tournaments in the history of Counter-Strike, for them to be the ones who take the first leap and say we are eliminating best of ones from our format is going to have huge ripples within the scene. Like I said, people pay attention to Cologne. It's the biggest event that's not a major every single year in Counter-Strike. It's the Cathedral of Counter-Strike. And now the venue of some of the biggest tournaments to ever happen in Counter-Strike will now also host the best, sturdiest format that we have in the game. That is huge. Without a single shred of hyperbole, whoever goes on to win Cologne this year is going to lay claim to probably the most legit trophy in the history of CS2 so far. By the way, just as a final note, I don't think best of one should be eliminated entirely. I don't think practically we can make that happen. And in the case of online tournaments, especially smaller tournaments, cash cups, stuff like that, best of ones do make a lot of sense for the sake of logistics. It's easier, it's faster, you're able to play more games, you can operate on one stream instead of two streams. Everything about best of ones makes sense when you get outside of the biggest tournaments, because as you scale down the ability for tournament organizers to be able to pay for this stuff, best of ones become more of a necessity. I just really hope that over the next few years we get to a point where every time we are having a major tier 1 LAN event, we are running the sturdiest possible format. And for CS2, as long as we continue to play within the MR12 format, that means we can't be playing best of ones, simple ass. But hey, that's just my perspective and I, I'm a dumb idiot, so if you disagree with me then you. But before you do that, make sure you leave a comment down below and we'll talk about it. While you're down there, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. This video is powered by Advanced GG. From clean energy formulas that won't bog you down, to hydration formulas to keep you going after a tough day, to even sleep formulas and multivitamins to help you out with your other daily needs. Advanced has it all and their products use high quality naturally sourced ingredients and they're keto and diabetic friendly as well. So check them out and if you're interested in making a purchase you can use my code LIONS10 at checkout for 10% off and it lets them know I sent them your way. Shout out to my channel members Justin, Jesse, Furley, Bubbles J, and Dr. Cocker for keeping the lights on. Thank you guys a lot. And yeah, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.